I am to Smile Sissé. Today, the camera is in the Sierra Leone Police Training School, where we can normally say the PTS concerning the closing ceremony on the strategic capacity project on electoral security management, where they be get Nayaso now for some weeks, and on ourselves go know how the training is important to the Sierra Leone Police, and also waiting at some of the things them we then be training them as we get forget the IG. We get for be part of the closing ceremony. On ourselves, go get for no waiting ego say towards this training. Dear Inspector General of Police, dear Honorable Guests, dear officials, dear colleagues, this graduation ceremony is the conclusion of a two week intensive activity which comes after completion of the assessment phase conducted under the scope of the Law Enforcement Expertise Program executed by Strategic Capacity Group, funded by the United States Department Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs through the U.S. Embassy. This project is correlated to the support for the 2023 national elections in Sierra Leone law enforcement responses, and the key findings identified during the assessment exercise provided a holistic picture of the training needs related to electoral security management as already explained by ACC history. Falling under the umbrella of an inclusive, comprehensive, and nationally informed training plan developed in close coordination with the training directorate and that will be implemented throughout the electoral process. This activity is the first iteration of the SMP training of trainers delivered these last two weeks. I said inclusive because all departments are involved in this capacity building effort efficiently catalyzed by the training director because we are here community relations department, media office, operational support department, operations, investigation, intelligence, and FSU, family support. I said comprehensive because it must be also emphasized that the curricular electoral security related content priority updated, modernized and standardized by 12 SLP master instructors, technically supported by SCG, and resulting in the development of the instructor manuals that is currently handed over to the Inspector General of Police, is focused on the prevention aspect of the job that police officers will have to perform on the ground. This nationally owned manual combines national legal provisions and specificities and best international practices. The dedication and the high level commitment from the master instructors that I would like to congratulate on behalf of course of the team must be outlined here today in front of this assembly. I said nationally all because the content is aligned to the security context, the legal, the legal provisions, and the reality on the ground in Sierra Leone. I will not, I mean, duplicate and repeat what the CP Easter mentioned about the main topics and the training models, but you will see in the manual that everything is covered to have a peaceful, I mean, uh, and democratic. Meant to provide the most adapted and suitable tools to officers involved in the security of the police station and centers, this activity was also a timely platform to develop an individual pocket card, providing expectations from the Electoral Serial Commission 
the key roles and responsibilities, what we used to say, do's and don'ts, and some critical and key information to make the frontline officer's job easier while performing their duties. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you from the bottom of our heart for your insight and fruitful contribution on that one. This graduation ceremony and the certificate that will be issued is just a recognition of your individual and collective productive and high-level commitment you all can be proud of. Can you allow me to underline the great performance from everyone? Trainees, master instructors, training directorates, with a big shout-out to the Sierra Leone Law Enforcement Academy commander and the staff under his supervision for the fantastic, substantive, logistical and continuous support provided during this key activity. The team would like to express also its appreciation to the catering provider and staff for their availability and the quality of the services provided. Dear honorable guests, dear colleagues, the overall architecture of the program is built to ensure a long-term sustainability and the biggest positive impact on the field. Now, the standardized instructor's manual is developed. Now, the trainers are trained. The development training planning is under development, following a comprehensive course review conducted in coordination with the training directory and the master of trainers. To all of you, dear trainers, dear colleagues, to cascade the training out to the SMP staff throughout the country and to train and increase awareness of the security system agencies. As we are moving forward, the next phase is already scheduled in January and will be more focused on TOT for special focus groups. And you know that we have six focus groups already listed by ACP history. These focus groups composed of 20 instructors each will also get the basics that you receive and some specialized topics to make sure that the message that will be delivered will be standardized to everyone. Dear IGP, dear guests, as you may see, the program has reached some great achievements and progress, even if more are still in front of us. However, there is no doubt that, thanks to the highly appreciated support that your institution is providing to the program, and for which I would like, on behalf of Strategic Capacity Group, to express our gratefulness, this critical program will reach its strategic goal, promote security and stability in Sierra Leone through increased capacity of SMP to prepare for and respond to the 2023 national election. I will end my speech and thank you for your patience. Dear honorable guests, if you can be alone me, I will wrap up this speech by a quote that I learned and that guides my life since I have been working in Africa. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, then go together. We are together. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, sir, for coming out to tell us about the whole program and the support you got for the U.S. Embassy. And because of that, you mentioned that the funds or the support came from the United States Embassy itself. It is for this reason that we have the political advice in the United States Embassy in the person of Paul Stockley to come on the stage. You are invited. Exercises 
that address the specific roles of elections and training management. The SLP has taken on the responsibility to train the system of security or organizations as well and pass along this knowledge and coordination for a safer election team. The enthusiasm and the seriousness that you all have brought to this course over the last two weeks has shown the determination of the Sierra Leone police to ensure that the security of the electoral process in a professional man manner safeguarding the fundamental freedoms and human rights of the people of Sierra Leone. This endeavor also strengthens the already tight bond between the two countries and demonstrates that the United States government and its institutions, so heavily invested in the success of this country, are ready to stand by Sierra Leone on its democratic journey. I want to thank you all for your attention. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much, uh, Media World, for taking us through this program. Please be seated. Political um, advisor of the U.S. Embassy Paul Stokey and the members of the Strategic Capacity Group, uh, senior officers of the EMB, officers, men and women of the SFB here present. Good morning. Well, um, when you are the last speaker, it's like you are going to go over all what has been said before. And that's why I don't like being the last speaker, but with the I found myself in the position where I'm going to be the last speaker until I retire from this office. <laughs> in any case, I will have to say a few words. What we are seeing today is the outcome of a series of agreements, first with the political masters, and then we saw the strategic uh, capacity group, they came in and we had an indoor, indoor meeting to assess basically what was needed by the Swedish police as we move on towards this very important event that is around the corner, that is uh, elections. Yes, like uh, the senior police advisor has just said, uh, it is a process. We went through all of it, they did a two-week assessment of what we have and then they came up with the training calendar. And this one is just the beginning of the calendar. Uh, it is lined out and it's expected to be rolled out for a very long time. Each time after every five years, Sierra police were confronted with the task of conducting elections, providing the security for elections. And this one is a huge task. And each time we prepare for this particular task. But this one is unique, unique in the sense that this is the first time in the history of the SLP that we've got a group of experts who have developed a manual for us. And this manual is going to stay with us for years to go. It doesn't mean that we've not been doing uh, trainings for elections, but this one is unique and outstanding because now it is going to leave us a very good legacy, some documents which will serve the test of time and austerity also. So for that, I want to say that as an organization, we are very grateful to the U.S. Uh, for supporting the Sierra Leone. Uh, the U.S. is an all-weather friend of Sierra Leone, all-weather friend. They've been with us in good times and bad times. And the Sierra Leone producer has benefited tremendously from training programs sponsored by the U.S., both locally and internationally. Before this time, we used to have our officers going to do trainings in the U.S., FBI trainings and senior FBI specialist trainings, which will help to boost our ability to perform and to deliver on our core functions. In our last discussions with the U.S. Ambassador, I was asking if we can go back to that time to see when our officers will have the opportunity to travel to the U.S. so that they can see for themselves in real time training programs being delivered. Uh, this is just the beginning of this process. Like they've said, it's a TOT, and in this particular one, 72 people have been trained, 12 of whom are master trainers. Uh, I have no doubt, I was looking at the phases uh, within this call, and I said to myself, thank God, we are not there, but we are getting there. 
as I look across the hall, I see a couple of dedicated officers, people who have the interest of the SLP at heart. Otherwise, they don't have spent two weeks on this campus just to go through this program. I want to thank you, the participants, for your continued dedication they have shown to us building the capacity of the SLP. We are at a stage when we need a lot of capacity building, especially when you take into account last year, December, we did huge promotions and we've seen people in ranks for which they have little or no knowledge about the ranks in which they find themselves. That is what has created the gap. And that gap, all of us, we have to fill it together. We are looking at elections because elections are around the corner. But after elections, we are going to focus on developing our personnel at every level, at every rank in the SLP. And that responsibility is going to rest squarely on the head of the director of training and his team. So the gap is there. I want to say I appreciate your dedication, your commitment, because the, uh, the senior police officer has just said it, that he sensed the high sense of commitment on your side, and that is the spirit. You know, in everything we are doing, it's not about us. It's, it's about the SLP. It's not about us. But for me, uh, I see the need for us actually to build our capacity. Capacity building is very important for all of us. Like they said, they are going to do specialist trainings for specific focus groups, just like we are going to do after the elections. So I want to say to those of you who have benefited from this TOT phase of this program that we must endeavor to make whatever you have learned to become part of your response system. In other words, you have in charge of the responsibility to make sure whatever knowledge you have acquired in this training program, you must be able to pass it on to the others so that they too can benefit. This is a program that's going to continue for the next four or five months before we get to June 24 proper. I always have a story about the, the, the eagle and the peacock who went on the course. They went on the course, and then the course, they were, they were certificated. So what did the peacock do? The peacock put the certificate under its armpit. That is why it cannot fly. The eagle chose to use that certificate to fly higher, faster, and ahead of every other animal of its kind. That is why the eagle is always flying higher and faster and above every other animal. So, metaphorically, I want to say, you are going to use this certificate, this knowledge you've gained, to show the difference between you and those who have not been into this particular course. And you have to help them to go through it. That is basically the rationale or the moral story, uh, lesson behind that story I first told you. We are going to continue to look forward to this dedication you have shown in the future as you go out to make sure others benefit from this particular course. That is the essence of learning. When you learn something, you have to make others know that you have learned something, or you have to practice what you have learned. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to the United States government for supporting the Syrian police at this particular time. This is key for us, because elections is a process, it's a process. And for us as police all over the world, we have huge responsibility to make sure that we secure the process. It is us who give credibility to the process. It is us who validate the process, notwithstanding the fact that we have observers. But it is what we do. We create the enabling atmosphere for elections to proceed to go on. If we are not up to the task, elections will not be credible. We've seen that several. That is why at this time in our democratic calendar, we see ourselves confronted with the task of preparing our people. Quite apart from this particular package, you have several other packages lined up, all geared towards preparing ourselves for elections. We have the issue of numbers, that's why we have decided to recruit 2,000 additional manpower. What is out there now is the first set. After three months, another set will come in so that they are passing out in May also before the elections are, are there proper. We have a responsibility to provide security for an estimated 25,000 polling stations. 
And if you look at our number, we are not even up to 20,000. That's why we co-opt the services of sister forces like people in the military, the correctional services, the National Fire Force, and we can go as low as bringing in the native administration police. But the good thing about this number, the number must sound huge, large, 25,000, is that sometimes uh, you find eight police stations in one center, which means no matter the number, we are still up to task, working together with our friends. So therefore, in future programs, I'm sure when we are going to roll out this particular program properly to the mass of the SLP, I will ask that to include our sister forces, those who support us in the process, because that has been the trend. Each time we are doing election-specific trainings, we are involving the military, the correctional services, and others. So we are going to sit together and look at this program as we now begin to roll it across the country to take cognizance of the fact that we have to include those who support us in the process. Because it is good for us, all of us, to be on the same page, to know the do's and the don'ts. That will make it better. It will not be appropriate, it will not be very good for us to be uh, interpreting the rules differently on elections. That creates some kind of doubt on the minds of the, of the electorate. So that is my humble appeal. And then, of course, to the uh, master trainers, they have, they have done well. They have done well. I also look at them and see they are people of high integrity, people knowledgeable, they have delivered their best. And I want to continue to appeal to you to continue to show this kind of commitment to the process. Uh, we are in this together, all of us. The only difference is that maybe I am just the chief executive, but all of us are in it together. And, and mind you, it is you who are going to actually be doing the job. So I want to thank you for your show of, of dedication and commitment to this process. I never had time actually to go during the process because I trust I trusted those who are delivering the particular package. So I want to thank you for your commitment. And then of course, director of training, this is just the beginning of your whole line of activities. Because now from now going forward, you are going to be overwhelmed with training packages. Just this morning we received another uh, training request or yes, training proposal from Interpol. They want to come and deliver Data, international data sharing, training of data sharing for senior officers. Lots of them are there. Some are international. We are selling out a lot of people. As I'm talking to it, I will have like six or eight people in Egypt going through different, different, different disciplines. So let us embrace this movement, all of us together, because everybody, this country and the world at large, is looking forward to us. They are looking forward to us to see how we can take this process to its logical conclusion. We are on record, the Syrian police we are on record for conducting elections. There has never been a time in the history of this country when elections are conducted and the, the credibility of the results come into focus because we prepare well for this kind of process. So I'm sure this is additional impetus for us to build on our existing strength to prepare us well so that we can deliver on this particular process. I want to thank you for being here today. Paul, I want to say another big thank you to the United States government for continuing to stand by Sri You know, after the incidents of August 10, I had the opportunity to meet the U.S. ambassador. Yes. But during that meeting, we discussed several things, and this is one of the things we discussed. And he has always maintained an open door to the Sri police. Each time, he keeps saying, each time you want to come, let us discuss, please come, we can discuss. And he has been very useful. So I want you to extend a big thank you to him on behalf of the Sierra Police and that we hope we we'll continue to engage each other until such a time. So let me end by saying, on behalf of the officers, men of the Sierra Police, I want to thank the, uh, the strategic capacity group for taking time to come and help us in our efforts to build our capacity. We are grateful and that memory, memory of the moments we have shared together, will continue to linger on our minds. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Um, we are going to distribute the certificate in this
order. When you hear your name, you move from the back to the center to the back. You come and receive your certificate. After receiving the certificate, you go to the next table over there. You receive the manual and the act, the election act, and also the flash drive. Then
Sanyuman.
Inspector General of Police, William Fire Service. Well, this morning we come for full up one training package on elections, uh, management, security. We are the U.S. government and the sponsor and through a group of experts, Recover um, America, we want to give her for the past two weeks. Today are the closing ceremony for this TOT part of the course. So take us through what you have seen there. Well, basically, then prepare them for forthcoming elections. Elections are very important, and police get responsibility for secure the process. So, this training package now have to prepare the police them for the elections before, during, and after. They got a very rich course content. We, at the end of the program, we will roll out to the other rank and file of the SLP so that everybody will be capacitated, all mango ready, position itself. For deliver as policeman during the forthcoming election. So, which categories of personnel are going to benefit from this thing? We, we get senior officers drawn from different uh, departments. We then form the crop of trainers. They don't train them. Then, now in turn, therefore, we'll train some other more people up country. Gradually, we will roll out to the rest of the personnel. Like how many, how many personnel 72, 72, 12 of them are master trainers. What I see, master trainers, these are people who then were reputed for trainings before. Then they incorporate some other staff from the school and other departments within the organization. So all of them put together at 72, and don't be the trainers. We go for roll out this program to the other policemen across the country. Finally, one of the speakers emphasized and said, You are training, you come for camp, training the officers. You tell me how many training don't benefit of the short appointment you don't get for training? Well, this is a short time as a director of training we highlight to so don't drop more than 10 training packages in different areas. Me all focused on training because I don't see gap gap in the organization. We look at how they promote people them. So man they promote them from one rank, they jump two, three, four, ten. So basically we need to prepare them for what a position for function well in the rank. This elections training, this are just a small one. After elections, we never go into trainings by rank. So man they pull up from constable to inspector. I don't know what in a couple work, surgery work, SI work. So we have to bring them to standard, to that particular rank they hold now. So this standard for me, we have to deliver quite a lot of in-service training packages as well as uh, international training courses. So how important this training be to this area? It's important for me because um, one in the position we for the elections will really come, another one. Then of course, the training that module will uh, introduce, that module day, it will serve we for posterity. And out of that module, when I look at the course content, we will design several other training packages from that module. We could benefit plenty, plenty, plenty police money in this country. So, we okay. And lastly, sir, we understand, say, in election, the importance of the people and expecting the police to be in the highest um, form of um, camp situations. And, um, how is this training different from all the other training than we police money and not able to do all this while? Well, this training, the difference with other training is that we come with a module. A module would have designed, would have developed, not only for this moment, but it will last for long. The module is rich enough to get lots of material inside, we will use not only for elections, but for subsequent capacity building efforts within the organization. And these are the first one in just respect to elections, but several others can line up. We get plenty, plenty of training. So don't drop more than 10, we'll get more lined up for now up to May. Thank you. As soon as I don't listen to so waiting the Inspector General of Police talk about the training with some senior police officers and we get 
na the Sierra Leone Police Training School where we can normally say the PTS and other trainers themselves receive their certificate and the one themselves, the senior officers them, where they serve be part of the training process if they receive their certificate and some other important documents. Mina Aitatus Maisi say, until we meet again, I say, ta-ta.